Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I do have a little unboxing for you guys today. I did receive some new inks from Ferris Wheel Press and I'm really, really excited about them. So I thought that I would talk about them briefly and then also kind of show you some swatches. So um, this month I did receive two beautiful inks. I do have one kind of like dark navy and then this one's a uni color. It's a kind of like purpley pink tone so I'll get to that in a moment. But let's first talk about the Crystal Blue Legacy. So this is the packaging for it. Beautiful with the gold foiling and I was really intrigued by this because it is a kind of like a deep dark blue. Um, I don't have too many navies like this in my collection, so that is one of the reasons why I was looking forward to it. And then also, the other thing that I really like about it is that it has a beautiful shimmer to it. Um, the shimmer is kind of like a shimmery silver, so I think it looks just gorgeous together. I think um, for New Year's, this would be a really great color to journal with so I'm excited about giving that a shot and you can kind of see the shimmer there at the bottom if you look closely. I will do a swatch of it but it's a gorgeous color. Um, definitely one that I think I will be using a lot of and I think if you paired it with a like a beautiful rose gold and white pen I think it would look so classy. So I do have a sailor pen that I think this would look really beautiful with and then the other one that I was super super excited about is this one and this one is called Sugar and Spite so it kind of has that cute holiday theme to it. The actual box does have candy canes on it so I thought the name was super super cute and again this one has a beautiful shimmer to it so let me see here it says base is purple the sheen is yellow which I think is so interesting and then the shimmer of it is like a pink gold so you can definitely see that in the shimmer you can kind of see that yellow and the gold in there so with these inks you definitely want to be shaking them well um, I like to use the shimmer inks with the Ferris Wheel Press carousel pens just because they seem to work the best with them. Um, you do want to be careful with these shimmer inks because with certain other brands I do find that they will um, kind of clog the pen or may not it may not come out as smoothly so um, check out my other videos for the carousel pen from Ferris Wheel Press because those are what I would recommend obviously to use their inks with. So I have been journaling with these two and currently I have switched up my journal. Right now I'm actually journaling in a passport size TN which is crazy because I never thought that I would ever um, journal in such a small size. However, I wanted something on the go and to have something really portable and so I've been journaling for the month of October in here and I'm really really enjoying it. I will definitely be doing a flip through of my completed pages once the month is done but this is my little journal entry for the day that I received these beautiful inks from Ferris Wheel Press. So um, you can see the swatches here. What I've done is I've actually used um, some chalks ink and then also some of my rubber stamps and acrylic stamps to make this mason jar and I thought that it would be just adorable to actually swatch my new inks in so you can see that I swatched the crystal blue legacy there and you can kind of see the shimmer it's really pretty and then the bottom there is the sugar and spite you can definitely see the gold and yellow shimmer throughout so um, I have swatched them here for you guys so you can kind of get a glimpse of what they look like. They're beautiful colors, really, really pigmented, and again, I love the shimmer in both of them. Um, I did not actually do my entry using these inks, and the only reason why I didn't do that this month is because I realized that this insert that I'm using, this passport size insert from Muji, is not really compatible with fountain pen ink. So when I swatched these, I actually had quite a lot of bleed through to the other side and so that's why I had to cover it up with some stickers there. Um, so I didn't want to um, do my journal entry with um, the fountain pen ink just because this, like I said, this paper is not compatible and I already had uh, done some journaling on the opposite side so I didn't want to ruin that. So that's the only reason why I didn't 
journal with it for this month but um, I am on the lookout for a insert that has maybe like Tomoe River paper just so that I can use my inks in my journal. Hopefully I can find an insert that will allow me to journal once again with my fountain pens. So um, that is the swatch. I just wanted to show that to you in case you guys are interested. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a brand ambassador for this brand, Ferris Well Press. So if you guys are interested in any one of these inks or even their pens, you guys can use the code Anum. That is just my name, A-N-A. -N -A, and I will leave that link down below and you guys can get your discount while making your purchase. So that is everything that I want to share with you guys today. Two more beautiful inks to add to my collection. If you guys want me to do some journaling or share my fountain pen collection or ink collection, just let me know. I'd be happy to share it with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!